it till I've got a really nice purple. <clears throat> Is being famous better than not being famous? Well, when I was a kid, it was my dream to be a famous pop star, and who knew it happened. And uh, yeah, sometimes it can be a pain, but only for all those reasons that all celebrities complain about, like being photographed by the paparazzi and having lies written about you. But I'm able to make records, travel, tour, so it's a dream come true, really. So no complaints from me. Which of the following are you most likely to do this year? Shave your head, get pregnant, or go to rehab? Well, hopefully none. Um, I'd like to be a mum one day, but I'd like to uh, really put all my time and energy into my new album this year. Don't ever really want to go to rehab. Don't ever want to have to. Um, and I don't think I'd suit me I'd being shaved. I'm like a right minger. Please tell us your favourite joke. Well, I can't really tell you my favourite joke, um, but one that I remember is really useless. Two fish in a tank. One turns to the other and says, how'd you drive this thing? <laughs> Poor, I know. What was the last thing that made you shout at the TV? Um, well, I sometimes shout at GMTV because I have it on in the morning and Lorraine gets a bit annoying, doesn't she? So lovely to see you! <laughs> um, how annoyed would you be if one of these questions was about the Spice Girls reunion? I've, it wouldn't even surprise me. I get asked about the Spice Girls reunion up to 15 times a day. Um, but there's no truth. In, I know it's been in the papers recently and allegedly Simon Fuller said that it's all happening. But it isn't. I haven't changed my mind. There's no plans for a tour with or without me as far as I know. So, um, more tabloid nonsense. Tittle tattle. <laughs> for some reason we imagine you're a fan of all these horrible emo bands. Would we be right? Oh, I kind of do like them a bit. But it's real pop music, isn't it? I think that's why I like it. And it's really good to uh, run to. And I listen to music a lot when I'm running. Is it really sad to like emo? I'm not a big emo fan. I just kind of like a couple of the singles. I don't know the names of the bands or the words. or I haven't got posters on my wall or anything. Um, after 12 years in the music industry, how come you're still so nice? Oh. Well, I don't think that people change. I think if anybody, if you meet anybody in the industry who's a bit of a idiot, they probably were before they started. It's just been enhanced by success. What would you rather be doing than pulling stupid questions out of a bag? Well, I was out last night and I had quite a late night and I've not had much sleep, so I'm really tired, so I think I'd rather be in bed. No offence. When were you last mistaken for someone else? Actually, someone thinks I'm Mel B. Odd, I know. Very odd. We look quite different. What's the strangest animal you've ever stroked? Hmm. Um. I actually went to a safari park for my 33rd birthday, because I'm such a child, and um, I, I was actually bitten by a chipmunk, <laughs> but it only nibbled me, it didn't hurt, and I held a python, which is very nice. Snakes are lovely, I like snakes. That's it, I got through them, did you think I'd get through them? Oh, you did.